So we're out here today picking some mushrooms, having a look for some wild mushrooms anyway, we've just got here um, in one of my favourite little spots of forest, just at the base of the eastern Madoffy Mountains. We are in the middle of May and um, if my calculations are correct, the porcinis should just be coming out now. Um, yeah, it was this time last year I was picking them around here. We got lots of them from, from this patch. I mean, it's a big patch. It's, I mean, it spreads all the way over to Greece from here, so it's a huge patch of forest. But I'm just right at the start, nearest to the village. Um, and yeah, we generally say that the nighttime temperatures should be above 16 degrees. 16 to 18 degrees, I think, is, is when they generally start to first appear. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's what we're going to find. Seeing lots of mushrooms in general, so it's a good start, it's a good sign. So yeah, we'll keep walking around, see what we get. I've been seeing quite a few of these mushrooms. See another one there at the back. There's quite a lot of these around, and I didn't recognise them at first, and I'm pretty sure now that they're red rasulas. You can see there's just a tinge of red around the corner there. I think they've lost all of their colour. Seeing it's been so warm. In fact, there you go, there's the evidence. There's two more here. Yeah, there you go. That's a little red rasula. And these are edible. Some of them are edible. <laughs> um, and I just don't bother with them, to be honest. They say if you give that a lick on the top and it tastes spicy, it's not good to eat. If it doesn't taste spicy, then it'll be fine. But I don't really fancy that. There's enough uh, porcinis around and chanterelles that I've not been desperate enough. To, in fact, yeah, look, here's some more here. I don't know if you can see them. They're everywhere. But yeah, I've not been desperate enough to try those yet. Also, when I'm out in the woods, I've always got one of these. A bit of oak tree. <laughs> so many cobwebs. Uh, you keep walking through and you get a space full of cobwebs if you don't uh, wave this in front of me everywhere I go. Now I think what I found here is an Amanita pantherina. Not sure, we'll have a look and cover it and see. Now these looks like it to me. I have to have a look down at the base of it and um, have a look underneath to see. Just to check. Yeah, but I think that's an Amanita pantherina which are listed as very poisonous, um, even deadly I think, but I don't know if that's actually the case. And it is also possible to hallucinate on these apparently, but I think you've got to be pretty careful. But yeah, good little find. Just noticed down here, a little yellow mushroom hiding in the undergrowth. It's like a bolete or a suelis mushroom. Have a look. Oh, it's big, it goes down a long way. And I'm still quite new on these because I never picked uh, I never picked belit mushrooms until I got to Bulgaria. You can see where I've just touched that, that that's stained blue already. You can see maybe that's the size of that thing in comparison to my hand. So I'm at the start of the next spot now. I love it here. It's a beautiful place and to see the mountains over there thick pine forests over that way and kind of mixed up with deciduous forests all over the place which is where I want to be yeah just wild flowers out it's beautiful there's wild thyme growing everywhere so it smells amazing as you walk and uh, this is actually an exact spot just around here with all this young growth and these young trees that I found my first Caesar mushrooms last year, so I'm actually going to have a little look for those just around here for 10 minutes. That's uh, Amanita Cesare, I think. That's how you pronounce the Latin. Um, really tasty mushroom. Some people regard it as one of the best forest mushrooms. Quite a dangerous one if you don't know what you're looking for, how to identify it, but um, yeah, really tasty. So we'll have a little look around these small trees and 
see if we can spot anything. Not sure how well it picks it up from here, but all these tiny lilac coloured flowers you see everywhere is wild thyme. Really lovely, really fragrant. As I'm walking around, I mean, you can't help but stuff on it, it's just everywhere. And it goes great with wild mushrooms. Well, this video is supposed to be about foraging for porcini mushrooms in, uh, <laughs> in Bulgaria. But I think it's just going to turn into a foraging video now. We've not, I've not found anything, but this is a really great, um, plant that you can use at the moment. I've just picked a load of these petals. There's masses of it growing where I live and it's a wild dog rose. And um, yeah, really fragrant, tasty petals. Sometimes I'll just literally snack on the petals as I'm walking around the hills and uh, what I've just done is picked a whole jar full of them and soaked them in water for 24 hours, drained off the liquid and cooked it up with some sugar to make a syrup. And it works great as a cordial and um, yeah, it's being nice on pancakes and all that kind of thing. So yeah, worth using. It's got a nice kind of Turkish delight flavor, almost a bit like lychee. So yeah, that's your dog rose. Well, I've not found anything, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's uh, 30 degrees out and even down here in the shade, it's really, really hot. I've been walking up up this mountain slowly for the last hour. And the duck through here. Um, but yeah, I think we're really close. Any day now they should be coming out. I probably won't leave it a week to come back. Um, there's mushrooms everywhere. I can see mushrooms as I'm walking now. It's a good sign, but a little bit too early still. Um, hopefully Hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel. I'll have another video up, hopefully within the week. I'll show you some of these mushrooms.